Matin Vauhucht. Good morning to you. Hope your day is going well. Fachtje gen Lessenschul. Welcome to this lesson. Today we're going to take a closer look at yes and no in a different context. We're going to look at yes and no with our friends she and saun. These are two kinds of two kinds of phrases and questions that will come up in con conversation as well. So in the previous video we looked at avel, anro, ambi, ambieg, very high frequency questions, and then we're going to add these high frequency questions to our toolkit. We're going to take a closer look at them. So really this video is aimed at folk who are already conversational, perhaps a bit comfortable with using she and sound already. Gleva. Although anyone can benefit from this video, it's just in my mind it might be most clear to someone who's already conversational and looking to sharpen their accuracy with these kinds of phrases. Gleva. All right, let's jump right in. So just to, as a wee refresher, a really quick one, she and saun, they both mean it is, but they emphasize different things. She emphasizes a person, place, or thing, right? Essentially a noun. Saun is everything else. And sound is often used for you know, adjectives, for describing words. Mm -hmm. Okay, maha. Leva. So let's get some sentences up on the board and work through the ways of saying yes and no with them. So let's start with she. <clears throat> she. Let's see. Uh, she. La. Bria. Ahaun. She la bria a home. It is a beautiful day. Yeah. And we're emphasizing beautiful day. <laughs> we're emphasizing day here, which is why we're using she, right? Person, place, or thing. Yep, a day is a thing. There we go. <clears throat> she la bria a home. It is a beautiful day. Skonyo. Straightforward. She la bria a home. Oh, she. Mm -hmm. How do we make this into a question? actually simpler than the other ones we looked at in the previous video. So we take away the S and we add in an. So this makes it a question. Anye. Anye. Is it? <laughs> is it a beautiful day that is in it or that it is? Is it a beautiful day that it is? Is it? Yeah. All we did was switch the she to an. An is our main question word that comes up all the time with different verbs. You'll see when we look at uh, regular and irregular verbs, an is going to come up all the time. We actually already saw it. We saw it with avel. The a is actually an. It's just been, it's lost the n. <laughs> actually, Technically, it's lost the M, but that's, we're talking about historical Gaelic over there. It's just lost a letter over time as Gaelic has evolved and it's become avel. Yeah, leva, leva. So we're still using an here, but with anro, yep, there it is. Um, B, oh, there it is here, except it has a M because we're dealing with a B here. Yeah, leva. So that's an important takeaway. It's like a little, uh, how, to, how to put it. Um, I'm not really sure how to put it, but it's a nice takeaway. <laughs> it's a nice takeaway from this video. In addition to saying yes and no, when you have an in front, like mixed with a verb or connected to a verb, then that's going to be a question. Yeah. Yeah. Gleva. <clears throat> Anye. All right. Anye la bria haun. Is it a beautiful day? How do we say yes? Well, we really say affirmative, don't we? Right? It is. She. She. Yep. She. <clears throat> she. And we can restate the whole thing as well with for a longer yes. She. She la bria a hound. If we like. Or we could just leave it at she. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. What about... It is not. 
It's not. Kanye. 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 <clears throat> nope. Kanye. There we go. And as mentioned in the first video about this yes and these yes and no patterns, we actually are getting a little extra by not having a straight yes or no. Because we're saying affirmative and negative, we actually have our sentence starters. So to say it is a beautiful day, she la bria haun. Great. So we have yes and also the way to start that kind of sentence. To say it's not a beautiful day, khanye in response to the question. But also, <clears throat> if we're making a statement, khanye la bria haun. Nope, it's not a beautiful, beautiful day today. Mm -mm. <laughs> Gleva. Okay, maha. <clears throat> so, what could we do here? What else? Well, actually, let's bring this into the past tense. This is something that a lot of learners find tricky. So let's, let's clear this up for you. Okay, maha. So, if we are saying it was a beautiful day on Monday, let's say. It was a beautiful day on Monday. We're not going to start with she. We're actually going to start with be. Be. La bria. Avaun. Jiluang. It was a beautiful day that it was Monday. <laughs> or that was in it Monday. Gleva. So with be, we've got a little extra to think about here. See this ahaun? This is ha. So this is a sign that we're talking about the present, right? She is in the present. Yep. And this is our little clue. Ahaun. Kleva. <laughs> we're talking about the past here. And we know that because there's va here. This is va, va aun. But also the b. Yeah. And when I was learning these forms, you know, the difference between she and be, it is and it was, that was something that really helped me. Be starts with b, which is like va. Be is not va, but they have the same letter and they're both associated with the past. If that pattern's useful to you, please use it. Any sort of patterns that you can use to really just kind of get, get an instinct for these things, a quick instinct too. You know, there's nothing wrong later on in your Gallic journey with, you know, really analyzing and kind of editing yourself. But if the editing can be as quick as possible, then if it happens in mid-conversation, the conversation doesn't die so often. Leva. <laughs> so quick little patterns like that that you can internalize are very helpful for maintaining conversation and also for editing yourself too <clears throat> when you speak and when you write. All right, so be la bria avaun jiluan. We have two clues that this is in the past. Be is only really, <laughs> be, be is for the past here. And then vaun as well. Okay, maha. So how do we make this into a question? What do we do? Well, as I mentioned before, an is our main question word here and it changes a little bit based on what comes next, right? So we're going to actually make this um, and this becomes a small b. Am be la bria avaun jaluin. There we go, just like that. So changing the be, or actually we're not changing it, we're just adding am. Am be la bria avaun jaluin. All right, <clears throat> and how do we respond yes in this circumstance? How do we say affirmative? Be, yep. And then what about it was not? We go ha, be, ha be, be. And there's a little bit of space here. So the B has the apostrophe with it. There's space and then the E. There we are. Gleva. Ha be, nope. Be. Oh, ha be, ha be. Be. <laughs> Am be la bria avaun jaluan? Oh, be. Be la glevria. 
avaun jeloin. If it wasn't, um be la bria avaun jeloin. Oh, ha be, ha be, be la fluch avaun jeloin. Yeah, leva. All right. <clears throat> if you've watched part part one, I guess, or got the first in this series uh, about yes and no, we talked about ha as well, right? Do you remember? Do you remember what this is a clue of? What this points to? Ha is a sign that it's negative. Just like with chaniel, yep, that's a sign that it's negative too. Chanye, chaniel, charo, chavieg, all of those, ha ha chas, when this ha, in whatever form it's in, is paired with a verb or acts as a verb in some cases, yeah, <clears throat> then you always know it's negative. Chanye, chabe, when you see the ha, negative. Just like when you see an starting a phrase here, it's a question, an, in its various forms. <clears throat> okay, very nice. So let's move over to sound. Sound is pretty straightforward too, really. All right, so what do we got here? Sound. I mean, we could continue our pattern here. Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, so let's come over here. Let's make maximum space here. So if we're making a statement, and trying not to make the board too, too muddy. Leva. <laughs> sound, it is. Sound. Sound bria. Uh, ha i sound bria hai. It's beautiful. Or I guess in this case it could mean she is beautiful. Or talking about a mountain like that, a thing that is grammatically feminine. Oh, that's beautiful too. Sure. <clears throat> I'm thinking more about the weather, so let's add in anju. There we are. Sound bria hai anju. It's beautiful that it is today. We're emphasizing beautiful because it's coming very early in the sentence. It's beautiful that it is today. It's gorgeous today. Leva. So, what do we do to make this into the question? And then we're going to answer it. Hmm. Over here, we took out the S and replaced it with an. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. Got him. Got him Yeah, let's make it. Let's make it blue there. And there we go. Oh, gosh, that's a funny question mark. <laughs> Never know how my how my writing or my pictures are going to turn out on the board. That's kind of the fun. It's a surprise for both of us. <laughs> All right. A noun bria a hai and you. Is it beautiful that it is today? Anaun bria hai and you. All we did was add the an to make it a question instead of the is, instead of the s here. And to say yes, what do we do? To respond yes, positive. Sound. 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 <clears throat> Anaun bria hai and you. Oh, sound. Sound, sound, sound. <laughs> bit of emphasis there. It's not beautiful. Habaun. Oh, Dilly. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself. That's the past. <laughs> oh, Gleva. Hanaun. 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 Nope. So our pattern holds true in terms of little clues of what's negative. Ha shows this is negative. Han shows this is negative. Oh, there's another Han right here. It's a sign that it's negative. Gleva. Okay. Gleva. Saun. Hanaun. All right. Anaun bria ahai and you. Oh, Hanaun. Hanaun. Hanaun bria ahai ichir. 
It's not beautiful at all. <laughs> or saun. Oh, saun. Saun, saun, saun. Saun bria ahai. Saun glevria ahai in you. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Gleva. So as we did over here with the past tense, let's bring sound into the past tense. <clears throat> what could we do? Mm. What could we do? What could we do? Well, let's see. I guess we can carry on with our, with our words that we've used so far. Baunbria. Avai an. Oh, instead of anju, what would we have for yesterday? Anje. Yep. <clears throat> Gleva. There we go. Gleva. Baun bria avai anje. Baun. So this is the past. How do we know it's the past? We have two clues. What are our two clues? I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> what are our two clues that this sentence is in the past? <clears throat> okay, Gleva. So we're starting with the, there's the ba here. <laughs> Just like we had be. That's a sign it's in the past. There's one more. Va. Gleva, Gleva. Mm-hmm. It was beautiful that it was yesterday. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so how do we respond to these questions? Well, it's very similar to this, actually, to what we did with she. Radio. Uh, sorry, we need to put it into a question. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm just enjoying being here with you so much. I'm just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just, oh, and what could we add in there? What could we add in there? Ah, well, happens. Gleva. <clears throat> so again, making the B small, because it's no longer starting the phrase. And then we're going to add in um. Um, baun bria avai anji. Adding in the um, remember, it's a question word. Mm -hmm. It's a question word, um, in its various forms, like this. It changes based on what comes next. All right, um, baun bria avai and jay. Was it beautiful that it was yesterday? Let's say baun, but our apostrophe here needs to be right there, right next to the B and a space in between them. Ooh, that's another little thing. That's a thing I see often with learners who write in Gaelic. You know, they get the idea of the pattern, they do it well, <clears throat> and granted it is a tiny thing. I mean, it's really, I'm being persnickety, I'm splitting hairs, but technically there is a space. There's B apostrophe space baun. <laughs> There's your writing tip for the day. So baun, um, baun bria ava e and j. Baun, oh baun, 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 baun. <laughs> and it was not. What do we do? Like we did with she, ha, baun. <clears throat> ha, baun. Ha, baun. Ha, baun. <clears throat> Gleva. Am baun bria ava ing? Baun. Habon, habon. And then you can restate the whole question if you like. You can add in more details to your response. Gleva. All right. So here we have it. How to respond yes and no with she and saun, and then also be and baun. So putting them into the past. Yeah, these are some important questions that you'll come across. Perhaps not as frequently as the four questions that we looked at last time. But they are important to have uh, a grasp of. Yeah. Gleva. <clears throat> Gleva. So watch this video as many times as is useful to you. Sometimes we get a little bit from each watching, and then some days it just clicks. Take some time off. Give your brain a chance to sort everything. Come back to it. It just might be this clear moment for you. Like, aha! It happens. It absolutely happens. But your brain 
at least in my experience, you know, your brain has less of a chance of doing that if it's so tired. Yeah. So give yourself some, some rest, you know, break now and again, make sure you drink a lot of water and you're <clears throat> creating the space for that aha moment to come up. Just clever. So here we have it. She and sound be I guess bound how to say yes and no. Thank you so much for joining me. Looking forward to seeing your Gaelic and see, seeing how you've sharpened it a little bit using these phrases. Okay, Gleva, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Chitty chitty.